What's going on guys? We are back with Fallout 4 and in this video I kind of want to go around and do the Freedom Trail and maybe check out some of the places along the way uh, that involve the Freedom Trail so it's going to be a relatively simple quest or mission but we're definitely going to find out what is at the end of this said Freedom Trail so with that being said, if this is something you guys are excited for, do me a huge favor and drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, this intro is super short and sweet, so let's go ahead and just jump right into the gameplay. Hey, you Alrighty. The paper, right? Nope. You're 200 years old. Yep. That's pretty good for your age, huh? Why, thank you. Alright, let's go ahead and go. What weapon do I have anyways? Okay, so I have a pistol. It's an automatic, I think, too, right? Yep. Very nice. Alright, let's go ahead and bounce up out of here. Does the Freedom Trail start here? I don't even know where the Freedom Trail starts, man. But we're definitely going to go to the marker and find out what that does. True story, I've never actually done the Freedom Trail the way it's supposed to go. I kind of, uh, just stumbled at... The location where we're supposed to just end up at anyways and found said individuals that way and then I just kind of sort of heard from the grapevine of what a certain password is to a certain room so I kind of it kind of just did its own thing but anyways we are definitely going to try to do this the way it's supposed to be done so hopefully it's nothing too uh, insane, nothing too hard, nothing too difficult. Uh, I doubt it will be. Nothing in Fallout 4 is overly difficult, if you ask me. But, I, I mean, I guess we're gonna find out, because I've never actually done the Freedom Trail. Well, at least the way it's supposed to be done. Alright, let's see, uh, really quick. How far is it? Map. Oh, it's all the way over there. The Boston Common, I'm assuming? Let's go to the Boston Common. It looks like it's in the area, so... Let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, we're probably going to do a quick look around of everywhere that it basically tells us to stop. So, hopefully it's not too large of locations. But, of course, I suppose we'll find out once we get to the situation. Because we, I've, again, I'm going to say it again. I've never done this the way it's intended to be. So, it's pretty interesting for me. Man, these freaking loading screens, man, kill me. It'll work eventually. It's one of those things where you just kind of have to just bite your tongue and just be like, fuck it, dude. This game has long loading screens. What do you want me to do? You know what I mean? But it is pretty ridiculous to say the least, though. I really should have uh, installed this game on my SSD. Alright, so what are we doing? 23 is telling me to go this way. Alright, what's this right here? Oh, what the fuck? Do I have anything to take that thing out? I have the fat man, but I don't really want to use the fat man right now. Uh, we're going to try to avoid it. So this says, act, journeys end, follow freedom's lantern. Examine. Seven. And A. Some sort of code? Alright, so it's 7A. I kind of want to. Let's go ahead and quick save right here and see if we can actually take this dude out. Oh god. Alright, I'm taking out the big guns. Fuck it. Um. Dude, 
This dude is insane. Oh, fuck. No. It didn't help that I got stuck. Get away from me, please. Well, that's it for that. Um, I might not be able to fight him. Um... All right, let's go with this. But first, oh, I got a better idea. I'm pretty sure we could take him out, but we gotta play this stealthfully. This is gonna be. This isn't even gonna be a problem, Mr. Swan. You are fucked, and I'm going to kill you. All right, let's try this again. Quick save. Um. Hold on. Let's go ahead and sneak. Whoops. Wrong button. All right, here goes nothing. Please die. Oh my god, I'm screwed. That was with a sneak attack too. Come on, baby. Nope, all right. I got a better idea. Let's do this again, since he's going to freaking kill us anyways. Uh, we'll load this, and this time we'll do our sneak attack crit on his face. Alright, his head. Hold on, let me, let's get a little bit over here, a little bit closer. Alright, come on, head. And then this... Alright, uh, we'll accept this, and then crit. Come on, baby. That's terrible, dude. Go! Alright, I'm loading and I'm running. Sorry, but I can't, I can't beat him right now. I mean, I'm sure I can, I just don't want to go through the motions. So let's go ahead and swap weapons back to this. I have another guy that I can freaking use that on anyways. Let's continue following the freedom trail. Alright. First place of interest is actually trying to fight Swan. But I'm not really interested in fighting Swan. Alright, we gotta go this way. Oh, this is it right here. What is this? Four. L. Definitely a code. Alright, 4L. What is this place? It led us to Massachusetts State House. Oh god, I remember this place actually. This place has a Myler Queen in there. Nah, fuck that. I'm not trying to do that right now either. We'll just do. <laughs> we'll probably just go around. And fo just follow it normally. Alright, it's going this way. There's a dead body over there. It's probably a trap of some sort. Alright, so now it's telling us to go this direction though. So, let's see what... Where it leads. Oh, God. Um... See... Oh, no. All right, let's blast this guy. Come on. Get out of my freaking way, dog meat. This guy's done. 
Come on, buddy. That's all you got? Hell yeah. I think it's pretty safe to say we handled business pretty well. And we got some of our rounds back. So I'm not, I'm not mad. Let's see if there's anything in here. Uh, the answer is no. Get out of my way, dog meat. Alright, so it's telling us to go in this direction now. Was there anything here? Oh, there was. Freedom Shell Marker. Two and A. So, 2A. Tracking. This is really taking us on a, on a scavenger hunt, huh? Oh, no. And it's not telling me to go that way. I'm assuming it's this direction. Come on, don't find us, please. All right. Oh, God. Well, at least we found the Freedom Trail. Continuation. Oh, look, there's another circle right here. So this is good, neighbor. Now a six and an O. Oh. Six O. Oh. Let's take this ammo, actually. Ooh, more leather parts. All right. We're good in that department. Oh, there's another raider right here. Fusion cells don't mind if I do. I wonder if I have five pieces of everything yet. Um, so I got five chest pieces. All right, we're, we're getting there for sure. All right, where else is it telling us to go? Oh, there's a dog over there. I'm going to switch to a rifle. Whoops. So there's that guy, and then that guy. Let's go see if we can get a, a face shot to this guy. Oh, fuck. That was a disaster. Fuck it. Let's destroy him. Dunskies. Oh, come on. This gun sucks. Goodbye. If he would have missed from this close, I would have been pissed. Oh, there's a Pharrell ghoul right there. It's a friendly, too. Really? Fuck it. How did that not hit him? about time holy shit oh god come on baby and he never found us fusion cells don't mind if I do all right I'll take that left leg three I three I what is this place this place is unmarked isn't it old coal uh, corner bookstore I think I've been in here once ever, like period. Maybe. Like, is there anything at all in here? Seems pretty empty to me. Um. Dude, this place is like absolutely empty. I don't know what to make of this. Let's take those stim packs though. Let's check behind this thing. Nope, there's nothing in here. What's the point of having an interior for this place? If it's absolutely empty. I don't know. Let's go back and sneak. Now we gotta load the freaking world again, don't we? 
Hopefully it's relatively quick. Doubt it though. Bum bum bum. We gotta be halfway there, right? Honestly, I don't even know. Come on, any minute now. Any day now. I'm like halfway tempted to just say screw it and edit out all these load screens. Because they're just absolutely ridiculous, man. It just sucks because it's a hell of a lot more work. But it is what it is. If it's a little bit more enjoyable for you guys, I suppose it's not uh, not that big of a deal, you know? Like I said, though, it's just kind of annoying. Come on, game. Work. It just doesn't want to work right now. I just love staring at green, at uh, black screens. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go into any more interior interiors. Loading the interior isn't that big of a deal, but loading the exterior or the world is absolutely insane because it just it takes forever. This kind of stuff makes me excited for next gen. Uh, consoles specifically because they have S SSDs specifically the PS4 has a really fast SSD so games like this with large exteriors and stuff like that would load, sig load significantly faster so that's actually pretty freaking amazing if you ask me makes me pretty excited I'm going to be attempting to buying it uh, to buy them both uh, day one but ultimately it just depends on on A, availability, and B, accessibility, uh, and just, you know, C, overall affordability, because let's be real here, price is definitely a factor, <laughs> right? But I definitely want to be playing some of the next gen consoles here on the channel for you guys, so that you guys can see what's, uh, what's out there, you know? Oh god, there's a machine gun over there. Do I even have to go in that direction, though? I don't know. Doesn't seem like this is the direction. Oh, okay, it's this way. I don't have to go over there. Good. Oh god, but I know what that place is. I'm pretty confident I know what that place is. Die! He didn't die! Alright, he died now. Die! Hell yeah. Oh no. Looks like a raider has been... Okay, I think I'm gonna... I think he's going... Or they're gonna be, uh... Avoiding us. Alright, let's take the... We'll take those. Alright. So we got some super mutants over there. We gotta do this one quickly before they find us. Alright, I'm gonna take as much of this as possible. How much do I have? Or what do I need? So I have chest piece and left leg and right leg, so I need. I just need the arms. Come on, baby. That's a raider arm. Wait, what about this guy right here? Leather right arm, left arm. So I need one of each, right? Of the arms. 
Oh, so I need one more right arm and two more left arms. Oh god. Come on. Oh no. Maybe it was a mistake. Let's poke this and just get out of here. 5R. Alright, 5R. Let's go. Quietly, of course. Yep, it was nothing. Don't even bother checking on your dog. He ran away, okay? Oh god. Oh god. Maybe I should quick save. Um. Quietly? You guys don't see me, okay? Forget I exist. Oh no. Oh no. Nope. No one's here. Don't worry about me. Where's the freedom trail? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. I'm gonna die. Yep. I don't see the freedom trail. It literally di di uh, disappeared. Oh, no, right here. I can still hear that freaking mini nuke. Don't worry about a dog beat. Right now we're on a mission, alright? We gotta go this way. I don't know where this is taking us. Oh, there's another one right here. Why do I get the feeling there's raiders around here? Oh, fuck. Please let this kill him. Come on. I'm pretty sure I just saw a dog. Oh, I did see a dog. Oh no. Get out of the way, dog meat, you freaking dog. And dead. Thank God. That was scary. Get out of my way, dog meat. Alright, let's check this super mutant that we killed, though. He might have something interesting. Alright, nothing interesting. So, there was another circle right here, but what is this? What is this place, anyways? Paul Revere's house. Ah, the British are coming. 8D next. Can I read this? Uh, built in 1680, this wooden building in the oldest structure in all of Boston in 1770. This home was brought or, or bought uh, by famed patriot Paul Revere. Paul Revere dwelled in his family Phil fuck Paul Revere dwelled here with his family including his 16 children god damn until 1800 Paul Revere was living here when he made his famous midnight ride to Lexington and Concord uh, to warn Sam Adams and John Hancock that redcoats were en route to arrest them and seize the militia weaponry dope He literally kept the, the war alive. If it wasn't for him, the war would have ended a lot sooner. Oh, look. It's Paul Revere. Oh, look. It even says right here. Is there any more things? Yep, right here. What does this say? One R. Hmm. The trail ends right at the church. Let's read this. Uh, built in 1723, the Old North Church is the oldest standing church in Boston. It's a 191 foot tall steeple, uh, also makes it the tallest church in Boston. On the night of April 18, 1775, Lieutenant Colonel Smith marched with 700 British soldiers to Concord on a mission to disarm the rebels. Using a plan devised by Paul Revere, Paul Newman climbed to the top of this church and lit two lanterns to alert patriots that the redcoats were 
coming up to Charles uh, up the Charles River, thus inspiring Longfellow's famous verse, "One if by land, two if by sea." The battles of Lexington and Concord that followed would start the American Revolution. Bam! What a patriot! Let's go inside and see what mysteries await inside of the Old North Church. We should probably change our weapon though because this weapon kind of sucks for us, doesn't it? Search for the railroad. Oh snap. Let's go with the pistol again. Screw it. Alright, let's look around. Stealthfully, of course. Oh, there's feral, uh, feral ghouls. Let's see if I can snipe them with this with this weapon. And uh, kind of, I guess is is the answer. Please die. Sick. Oh, hello. Come on. Oh god, that was close. I mean, close. Shit, they were never gonna do anything to me. They never stood a chance. Like, at all. Wonder glue. Alright, is that everybody? I'm assuming it is. Oh, dude, we got a weathered feral ghoul right here. Purified water. Don't mind if I do. We gotta be careful. Seems like this place is infested by feral ghouls. Search for the railroad. A oh, railroad. I've been searching for the railroad. Uh oh. Do I have throwables? No. Oh, I gotta be careful because they can literally be creeping around any corner. Please die. Alright, that guy's done. Somebody else is here, though. Oh, I can take that guy out. Come on, buddy. This way. That guy's done, skis. Oh, it looks like we did miss somebody upstairs. I'm halfway tempted to go up there and just destroying them. But right now I should Oh, this guy's here. Hell yeah. Wait a minute, is there another guy that just came out of somewhere? No. Alright. I think we found it, guys. I think we found it. Alright, so let's see. Let's switch our camera angle. Um, Alright, let's see. Hmm, it spins. Spin this right here. Alright. R. A. So it starts with R. I. L. R. O A D Whoops A Railroad Oh snap Hell yeah, come on dog meat Let's go Oh shit right you went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting. Who the hell are you? First of all, who are you? Why don't you tell me who you are first? In a world full of suspicion, treachery, and hunters, 
We're the Synth's only friends. We're the railroad. So answer my question. Uh, well, I mean, I'm not an en I'm not your enemy, if that's what you're asking. I followed the Freedom Trail looking for the railroad. I'm not your enemy. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. It's clear you're not with the Institute. But who told you how to contact us? Mmm. I heard it. I heard people talking about it at the di in Diamond City. I just heard a rumor about you guys in Diamond City. I see. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. And you are Deacon. Where have you been? I'm not You're Deacon. You're having a party. What gives with my invitation? I need intel. Who is this? Wow. Newsflash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal out there. Thank you, thank you. Uh, you know who I am? Do we know each other? I didn't need to meet you to hear about you. You have made waves. You're the one rebuilding the Minutemen out of Sanctuary, right? And, as if that wasn't enough, you've left a trail of destruction in your wake. Gone places no sane person would go alone. So you're vouching for him? Yes, trust me. He's someone we want on our side. That changes things. So, stranger, why did you want to meet with us anyway? Uh, I mean, I kind of want to save synths. You help synths. I want to lend a hand. There's a procedure for people who want to help the railroad. And showing up unannounced isn't it. I mean, I just followed the only lead I had. I followed the only lead I had. Well, hopefully nobody else crashes this party. If we're going to be dealing with you, I need to make sure we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? Duh. I know all about them. Yeah, I know all about them. Good. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. Um... Sounds like slavery to me. That sounds like slavery. Exactly. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? I mean, realistically, I was in the military. Um, so, I mean, I kind of already did that before. So, yes, I'd risk my life. Once, I pledged my life to protect my countrymen. I don't see this as any different. Well said. You said you wanted to save synths. But right now... We don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other valuable ways you can contribute. And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. Okay. What's up, Deacon? Talk to me. Hi. Hope you didn't mind the reception. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. Yeah, no worries, man. Your leader was just being cautious. Exactly. Kind of killed our chance at a friendly first impression, though. But it's all good now. I vouched for you. Nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. <laughs> why did you vouch for me anyways? So tell me, why did you vouch for me? In our little outfit, it's my job to know things. And with everything you've done, it's clear you're capable. A dangerous enemy. And I'm betting a valuable ally. Yeah, but why do you trust me enough for this? But why the trust? You can't be taking it all on faith. I don't know if we can trust you, but I hope we can. We just survived a hell of a crisis, so we may just be a teeny weeny bit desperate for new members. If everything was sunshine and bottle caps, we'd probably play a longer getting to know you game. But we don't have that luxury. Oh, this is going to be hard. I don't think I'm going to do this. But let's try it. Is that really it? Really? Is that all? I've heard a lot of things about you. Enough to want to give you a chance. So Des wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just going to come out and say this. The railroad needs you. Why do they need me? You sure you need me? Desdemona didn't seem to care. She's just thinking of the time and manpower it would take to train you. And if you were some hick from the burbs that didn't know your ass from a rocket launcher, you should be right. <laughs> but I'm betting someone like you just needs a few pointers. And a target. 
Well, I mean, yeah, then I'm interested. You got my attention. I got a job. Too big for me, just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Dez invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. What's the job? What's the job? So, up front, the only thing I'll say is that it's gonna be a wild and dangerous ride, but probably nothing new for someone like you. Sure, why not? Sign me up, then. Perfecto. Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. Alright. So... Before we leave, I want to go upstairs and kill those last feral ghouls that are upstairs. But first, let's go into sneak before they find us. Before we find them. That can't be a good thing, right? Dude, this... Literally looks freaking disgusting. There's like bodies everywhere feral ghouls and I can only imagine how much it stinks down here, too All right Here we go Where is he? where are they ah there he is is he the only one? Maybe we can ah Never mind. Where are you at? Found you. How the hell did that not get him? Ow. Woo! That was nice. So is that it? So we do have a level up, so let's go ahead and do that. Please tell me I have another commando. Yes. Hell yeah. So the next is level 24 for this. We've got a while to go for that. Um, And then 14. So we're almost going to be able to buy shops or whatever. Alright, we're good here. Let's go ahead and bounce up out of here. Um, there is one more thing, and it's over there by Ten Pines Bluff, and I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I have my, uh, my fat man with me, and we're going to go all the way to Ten Pines Bluff, because there's another settlement in that immediate area that we can go and take out really fast. Depending on how long this freak load screen is, of course. We might have to just get there. And once we get there... Uh, no, because it's still too early. I was going to say, we'll probably call it a video, but... The reason why I said that is because... Or I was going to say that is because these load screens are absolutely ridiculous. But the good thing is, we discovered the railroad... So that's, that's a plus. I've been working on the railroad. Oh my god, these things really drive me insane, dude. It'll work eventually. <laughs> Come on, Fallout 4. You can do it. I believe in you. I said I believe in you. That should be your cue to work, damn it. Oh my god, Becky. Look at her butt. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff that really gets me tempted to install some mods. It probably doesn't help that I have like a million quests right now too. Who knows, maybe we'll do some some uh, the, some of the Creation Club stuff. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see uh, 
me do some of these creation club missions because I literally have just about every single one of them. I'm I don't think I I bought all of them, but I don't think I have them all installed. So if you want to see some of them, uh, definitely let me know down in the comments down below because I'm very interested in that because I do want to do these quests, man. To be honest, so I think it would be pretty interesting to do. I kind of want to do a, because there's like a million freaking dogs too. I kind of, at some point, I kind of want to do like a dog rescue and go around and just rescue dogs. You know what I mean? I think that'll be pretty funny. Oh, there we go. It's about time. But now we're going to have to go through this super long uh, load screen just going up north to Tempine's Bluff. But, all right, let's go. Let's just do it. Why not? Hopefully, since we're already outside, it loads significantly faster. But something tells me that uh, that's probably not the case. But you never know. For all we know, it's probably like 60% faster than it was just going outside, period. But we also have to take into consideration that it's loading a completely different sector of the map, too. So there's also that. Oh, it did load significantly faster. All right. Um, I think we're, it's literally that little satellite or that antenna over there. Well, we're, hold on, let me see. Yeah, this place is fully built up. Uh, 16 defense, 12 food, three people. Three bets. Yeah, this place is perfect. Wait, why does it say no defense? Oh, no. Yeah, 16 defense. It's no power. My bad. I read that wrong. But, um, we're definitely gonna have to leave it here right now, guys. Um, we're already getting close to that 45 minute mark. And, I mean, I mean, we still have a lot to do, so. Uh, it's all good. This is gonna be a long series anyways. But, if you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll definitely catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.